you give Good 
nasikie dua yetu he mungu wetu nasikie dua yetu he mungu wetu
number 17. We need a mic here uh, or channel 16. Okay, where is uh, mic 17? Mic 17. to deceive to 
you know. Jesu muhuri wangu ndiwe mwimbo wangu ngumu foto wangu nandi vipenge Oh, my strength. 
strength and my rock. You're so precious to me. You're a friend that is dear to me. The Yeah, so Elder Nandu, if I just want an you anointing. to. <laughs> it is, right? Yes. Yes, I just want uh, to ask you a few questions. Yes, yes. About this group. How many are you? There are 10, huh? Okay, so um, when did you uh, meet the concept? Okay, I came into Chinama Church. We came into Chinama Church in 2007. In 2007, um, some of you, 15 years ago, I don't know how old you were, but in 2007, uh, the group came to visit our home. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, we were just starting up. We were very humble. Not, not the big person that I am now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so by, the, by 2007, the group was already in place? Yes, they were already in place. Okay. Uh, Can you okay. see some faces that yes, you saw there? Yes, okay. There was Covenant, 
uh, he was a buzzman then. Okay, and uh, he's still buzz? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, there was Msonda. Msonda uh, Chivale. Yes, the baritone. Uh, there was Stecheny. Then he was, uh, he wasn't the Keno then. <laughs> I think he was, is it, he was just making it into captain or something? Yes. Okay, and, cool. And uh, the, the, the tenor was in Kada. Wasn't in the, he wasn't no, he, in the he had not yet come. Oh, not yet. Mm, you, okay. No, these are babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are the, some of the people that you saw then. Yes. So how did they minister to you? You, you see, uh, coming into Chinama Seven Day Adventist, you, you were, we were wondering, we were actually sampling. Um, I, I told my wife that uh, when we move into Lusaka, we're coming from the village in Rusangu. When we move into, Rus into Lusaka, we'll go to university church. We had heard so much about university church. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Then my wife says, there's a church here. There's a church nearby. That there is were, bigger than... No, no, no. no. Resource center. Then I said, resource center. Then she says, yes. We, 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 we went to resource center. Yeah. Okay, we thought at home. But what made us welcome was the visit from the concept. Okay. They were not a big Mm -hmm. uh, they were small. They were learning song. Yeah. Oh, that was yes. That, 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 like their favorite song. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. At one point, they were introduced to, uh, they, they, they sang a song by Morning Trumpets. Morning Trumpets used to be one of my favorite groups. Actually, my favorite quartet group. Okay. Um, that song. Um, I can sing, you know that. Okay. <laughs> We can hear that. Yes. Um, yeah. And, and they, they, they blasted. Yes. Uh, Alumbwe was, um, he was less than a year. Yes. Uh, he was less than a year. And, and we were blessed. And we really felt welcome Great. that a group like them would mm -hmm. visit with us. Yes. Now, I do identify with their, with their pilgrimage concept. Yes. You know, they're, they're not of this, they're not of this world. Mm -hmm. They are going somewhere. They are on and their that, way. And that concept, they, what we learned just at that point was that they, they were not fighting for the pulpit. Hello? Great. Like, like, like most musicians do. Eh? Like they, you know, like musicians are a problem. Uh. Sorry, musician. We love you. But I have an opportunity to brother today. Mlaya here. Dave is Mlaya. <laughs> I, I have a, I have, Can you hear that? I have a, I have that musicians are a problem. They love the pulpit. <laughs> They love the pulpit. But the yes. concept, I'll tell you something. The concept have been pleasant. Yes. They've visited homes. They've visited hospitals. Mm. They've visited prisons. Mm. They have... Uh, Even more. Yes, yes, if yes. I yes. The, 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 for them, ministry is not the pulpit. Exactly. It's beyond that. Yes. And so I do identify. So when a co can, uh, Sister Hazel, I'm, 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 I'm relaxed. A co comes and says, ah, mm -hmm. we want you to be... Uh, is it director programs? They call yes. it MC. MC is old fashioned. Eh? Yeah, I, I remember that um, uh, Deacon Sinkala yes, yes. used to say, I'm no longer an MC. Uh -huh. I'm a director of programs. Yes. So, when, when so I called, think that's what we are yes, right now. When he called, he actually said, yes. Master of Ceremony. We want you to be Master of Ceremony. Then I said, I have no hesitation. Yeah. Why? Because I can identify. Mm -hmm. I have, I have, I, there was a time when I used to preach for them. But then they ditched me because they... They, they, <laughs> the they ditched me. The moment Dr. Akomba came in, they said, no, 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 we present your material. We present your material. We are above that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, no, thank you so much for sharing us your journey with, uh, for sharing with us your journey with Concept, who were small at the time. Uh, quite small at the time. Now look at them. We have uh, how many? Ten? Yeah, 10 members, which is, um, shows that we are growing. Um, I also got a call. I think the same call that you got. And um, I remember Brighton telling me that, uh, you know what, Hazel, we are going to launch our album. And uh, this uh, launch is free. We are not charging anyone. We don't need their money. We just want to spread the word of God. And so, like you, I think I uh, resonated with them because I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I probably started going to Chinama Church before even the concept was uh, established. When That's came, how old I am. When we came to Chinama, you were a small woman. 
<laughs> okay, I want to believe that I'm still small. No, 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 no. Yeah, but anyway, so um, it's very exciting to have this group here. And I think uh, we need to go into the next program. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so they'll give us. So gentlemen, it's your show. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need Him now. Oh, we sure do need Him now. We sure do need Him now. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need Him now. We wonderful song. There has never been a moment when God is irrelevant to those that know him. We need him every moment. At every beat of the heart, we need God. He makes sense to those that know who he is. Concept God bless you for reminding us that we need God every moment. This afternoon, I will greet you three times and you will respond three times. Do we agree? 
I will greet you three times. You will follow my pattern and you will respond three times. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and again I say good afternoon. You are a powerful team. This afternoon, I want us to spend a few minutes as we discuss a few things from the Bible. And I'll be very quick to invite you to come with me to the book of Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16, I will read or we'll read together verse 25 and verse 26. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and verse 26. The Bible says from the New King James Version. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying. Take note of that word. And singing hymns. Take note of those two words. To God and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, verse 26, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. The Lord had a blessing to the reading of his word. This afternoon, our short sharing is entitled The Reactions of Answered Prayer. The reactions of answered prayer. Let's pause for a short prayer. Heavenly Father, in this little while, I ask that you say much and allow me not to say much. Hide me behind the cross and may I not be seen but Christ be seen. I ask that you make me a nail and on this nail hang the picture of Jesus Christ. That as I explain scripture, I will not be seen, but that Christ who is hanged on me may be seen to all of us. And when all is said and done, may your name and your name alone be glorified. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we want to discuss the reactions of answered prayer. The results of how one who prayer has been answered reacts. It is a common chapter to many of us. The book of Acts chapter 16 presents a story when you read from verse 17 up to verse 40 it presents a story of two common people by the name of Paul and Silas. Something is happening to them before we can identify them being in prison. When you begin to read verse 16 coming down, Paul and Silas are simply walking and a certain young lady who was used by the locals there to make money, she would actually foretell. She was filled with divinity. She was possessed in short. And she would actually tell so many things. And these who owned this little girl, they made money out of what she was doing. And so when she came into contact with Paul, when you read the encounter, you realize that finally this girl was delivered because Paul prayed for her. When Paul simply prayed, they continued moving with Silas. The owners of this girl were upset that she was delivered. And they found an accusation on Paul and Silas. And they went to the chief priests of the town. They said, Master, these two, we actually found them that they were contravening the law of the, the, the Romans. And to make matters worse, these are the Jews. That was not the issue. Paul prayed for the little girl and the little girl was delivered. But they found them a cause, an accusation. And when you read further, you realize that they were actually beaten at a marketplace for the reason that they prayed for an innocent girl. And they found themselves in prison. 
Beloved, when you read this encounter, many of us, we just like saying Paul and Silas were in prison. We don't even know how, what cause they found themselves in prison. They found themselves in prison for delivering a girl and they accused them. And now finally, they are in prison. And I'm sure when you hear of the word prison, you will agree with me that there is no peace in your heart. So while they were there, our concentration, the Bible says in verse 25, I want us to talk about two words. The first word is prayer. When Paul and Silas were there, the Bible says they were praying. Why were they praying? Beloved, the prayers they offered while there indicated how much they suffered. Yet through prayer, they sought the sustaining grace of God. They said, yes, we know we are here, but there's something we can do. While they were praying, they were very sure that God will come to their rescue. We may not suffer exactly like Paul and Silas did, but in one way or the other, we are troubled saints of the living God. Someone seated here, someone watching us live on whatever platform, we may not suffer like Paul and Silas, but in one way or the other, we are afflicted. There could be one issue that is troubling you so much. But beloved, I want to tell you that Paul and Silas prayed. Beloved, why are we emphasizing that Paul and Silas prayed? It is for the very reason that prayer is very important to an afflicted soul. Prayer is very important to one who does not know the next move. And so Paul and Silas, they saw it fit to pray. Beloved, this launch of the Bend Me, O oh Lord album has to bring us closer to the lessons of prayer. Whether we like it or not, we must come closer and learn the lessons of prayer. But you are not here so that you listen to the songs. You are here so that you present your heart to God and say, Bend me, O oh Lord, and pray whatever is troubling your heart. At the end of this gathering, you and I must be assured that as we present our bended souls before Christ, we will not be the same. So Paul and Silas are very sure, beloved. They are very sure that God has answered their prayers. They were very sure when they prayed. I imagine Paul helping Silas and said, in our chains, believe that God has answered our prayers. And what next when God has answered your prayers? What next, Paul? I am your companion. Silas is asking, why are you saying let's be glad God has answered our prayers? What are we supposed to do? Beloved, the next statement in verse 25 says, after they prayed, they sang him thee. The chains were about to be broken. They prayed and they sang hymns. They had endured much. We are talking about why they were led to prayer then finally singing hymns. They had endured much. But they had the cause to offer gratitude to God. Even though we are here, even though we are in pain, even though things are not as we expect them to be, even though we are accused, even though we have lost our beloved ones, but we have the cause to sing hymns, to praise God because he has answered our prayers. In pain they sang songs of praises. One writer says, it is not the power of the wicked one to make the righteous people unhappy or prevent them from actually rejoicing in the Lord. If you decide not to rejoice, it is because you have decided. Don't say that things are not all right. That's why I cannot rejoice. Paul and Silas in prison, they said, even when we are here, we will sing hymns of praise. But why did they sing hymns of praise? They were sure that God had answered their prayers. We must be very sure that God has answered our prayers, beloved of God. When we gather, 
we must be very sure. Before I sit down, I want to expose you to this, what happens in most cases. In most cases, especially in the case of Paul and Silas, it can be your case or my case, or other incidences in the Bible. In most cases, singing comes after the victory. Did you get that one? In most cases, I'm not saying all cases, Sister Hazel, I'm not saying all cases, I'm saying in some instances, singing comes after the victory. What are we talking about, beloved? I have never seen anyone here dancing and rejoicing before they write their exams, my brother. Because you haven't yet passed. How can you dance before you write your exams? I've never seen anyone who goes rejoicing before a child is born. How can you rejoice before a child is born? So when the results that you have written, the exams that you have written, when the results are out and you have passed, what next? Then you will rejoice. So Paul and Silas were very happy that we have prayed and now that God has answered our prayers, we will rejoice because of these answered prayers. Let us be sure, beloved, that God has answered our prayers. The chains are broken. And Paul and Silas are actually enjoying the peace. Beloved, let us sing mightily as we have gathered, knowing that despite the challenges we may face, God has broken the chains. Let's rejoice. God has answered our prayers. I don't know if I can hear the sound of a piano or the song that says, Oh, to Jesus, I surrender. That sound of a piano reminds me of Paul and Silas. They are troubled in prison. They pray to God. And after they have prayed to God, they know that we will not be in this condition forever concept. We will not be in this condition forever. I know that in one way or the other, we are in pain. But we need to rejoice because God has answered our prayers. I know there is a woman here. There is a man here. There is a brother, a sister, a father and a mother. Youths that could be present. All of us that are here we are troubled in one way or the other. But let's rejoice because our prayers are answered. And we can go out shouting and rejoicing like Paul and Silas sang. And the Bible says in verse 26 that finally the chains were broken. Here is an appeal, beloved. One writer in the book called Mount of Blessings, page 35. She writes, and I quote, It was this joy that God, it was this joy that filled Paul and Silas in prison that made him to even remind the church in Philippians 4, verse number 4, that rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Beloved, we are talking about the reactions to answered prayer. When God has answered your prayer and my prayer, we will go out singing hymns like Paul and Silas and we'll say, peace in my heart and peace was granted to Paul and Silas. Let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, it is not easy to sing hymns of praises when our hearts are afflicted. But we are glad to learn from Paul and Silas that they were accused. Even though they were afflicted in prison, so many things happened to them, yet they kept holding on. And the reactions to answered prayer was that they started singing. There is someone today, as we start singing this afternoon, May it be an indication that you have answered all our prayers. And as we we'll go back, we'll say praise be to God from whom all blessings flow. 
this we ask and pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. What do we say for that uh, wonderful sermon? Okay, so at this point, I'm going to call the concert. And uh, Elder Mupango, uh, what is the meaning of the word kulilizika? What's the meaning of that word? So from the, from the little explanation that I got from the late senior deacon Brighton Sinkala, the Kulilizika is, is a song of somebody expressing agony, complaining, uh, to put it that way, why things have gone in that particular way. And then finally, it ends by giving assurance that God is there for you. Okay. Yeah. Great. So that's the song we are going to listen to. Um, and then after that, uh, we'll ask uh, two other singing groups to sing for us. So you can sing that song for us. Okay, so as we sing this song, maybe just to give you a bit of some background to it, this, is on, this was one of the favorite songs for our late brother director, Brighton Sinkala. We are going to sing it with two different instrumentals. So we sing the same song, but with two different instrumentals. The first instrumental we sing is what we call the official instrumental. That's the one which the, the group agreed to be the one to use. Then the last one we sing is an official one, but the, the history to it that it was brought by Brother Sinkala and uh, our experience, the few times we sang with him, is that because it has a fast intonation, a little bit of a, of a reggae type of arrangement, there was a strong temptation for our brother to dance on stage. So as a group, we decided to say, okay, this one, we won't be singing it. But I don't think anyone has that temptation today. Does anyone have that temptation? No one has that temptation. So we shall sing with that instrument uh, the second time we sing this song. Thank you so much. Chimwi, and to Yamusi, a 
swile Nana yako ya kusipula Pasi upusa no apa Antu yako na kulukuwa chili chimwi Antu ya musi ya kaswile Nana yako ya kusipula Pasi upusa no apa Antu yako na kulukuwa chili chimwi And now we have Brother Sinkala's favorite beat. Kulilizika mumwenzo wane mwene wendo walengela ukwiza Mwene sungiza utufyushe munosi Pachula na masa kamiko Antu ya musi ya kaswile Pasi upusa no apa Antu ya kona kulukuwa chili chimwi Antu ya musi ya kaswile Nana ya koya kusipula Pasi upusa no apa Antu ya kona kulukuwa chili chimwi Walengela ukwiza umalenga na sololwe ya koya bonge Pano mwanisi ya siku londa antu ya koize ya pususiwe Antu ya musi ya kaswile Pasi upusa no apa Antu ya kona kulukuwa chili chimwi Antu ya musi ya kaswile Nana ya koya kusipula Pasi upusa no apa Antu ya kona kulukuwa chili chimwi Kaswile Nana ya koya kusipula Pasi upusa no apa Atu ya kona kulukuwa Chili chimwi Which one is better? duped. If you feel duped, raise your up your hand. These guys told us that they were not going to be tempted. <laughs> but, but I saw Brian moving. His, I've never seen that before. I also saw Mukela. <laughs> A che che the dancing in Brian. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know what music can do? Music is amazing. You know? Even cool people would dance. Uh, only me can't dance to that kind of music. Um, um, we, it's my privilege to uh, welcome our guest of honor, who is in our Mideast, who is Brigadier General Golden Luamia. 
Now, he is a fellow, I, I wanted to say fellow general, I'm not a general. <laughs> he, he is a fellow elder. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm not a military person, so I'm not going to put sir. Forgive me. Uh, maybe when I join, I'll put a sir. Okay? Um, we will now going to ask a talk author to come and uh, blast. That's Keno, Keno station is language, blast. You will not hear me say blast on Sabbath. No, no, no. That's not my language. Um, they will give us two songs. After Tokuza has given us two songs, a Touch of Faith will come in front and give us two songs. Today we are going to enjoy the blasting. Enjoy. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon, church. Ah, oh, much better. You know, um, as Adventists, we, we are kind of uh, used. I almost said the Happy Sabbath Church. <laughs> Today is Sunday. We hope um, the music that's being sung and even the music that has to be sung will really, really bless your heart and uh, you'll be edified. Amen. Amen. Badum, 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 bam, badum, badum, bam, badum, 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 badum. He was down to the cross. He shed his blood for you. What you gonna do about this? The son of man, the son of man was hanged on the cross. He died, he died as the resurrected. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, 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 so ain't sure His love so amazing His love so ain't sure His love so amazing He paid, he paid the, price the cross He paid He paid He paid
Inende aku mulu kau aman, inende aku lihat ukuran sasa ishamu ya 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 ukusila panocalo inende. Shako kumachu sho ayapachalo kaya mo na mo se na elia no gui kali lila.
Uh, I actually thought you were finished. Um, uh, I, I was wondering why we are not inviting you as a church. Because you used to come, you remember? You used to feature a lot. We, you used to be our favorite at a certain point. Then I noticed you were not coming. So I thought, ah, maybe Vanasila. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> who agrees with me that they are still there? Great, great. We have enjoyed the music so far. Uh, now, Tokoza, you don't follow instructions. I said you don't talk here. You, you just sing. But then, temptation to talk, who? Sister Hazel. What do we say for that beautiful singing? I was actually trying so hard not to shake a little bit. And I kept on looking at the elders in front here because I didn't want to, to have a call out <laughs> next Sabbath. Yeah, so we are now going into a very interesting part of the program. Um, let me invite uh, Chibale Musonda, Deacon Chibale Musonda. Deacon Chibale Musonda, the groom. <laughs> the groom. How are you, Deacon? I'm all right. How are you? Very well, thank you. You, um, you. you could mention the groom part again. Oh, the groom part. Yeah. He likes yeah, that. Yeah. Deacon Chivalem Sonda, the groom. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've come to a very interesting part of the program. Yes, please. Because now we are going to talk about the journey of the pilgrimage concept. And I want to believe that uh, right now you could be one of the el oldest in terms of stay in the concept group. Am I right? Yes, you definitely are. Yeah. Um, maybe even Ben. Um, we Bernard? Yeah, Bernard Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Okay, so for now, we are going to talk to Deacon Chivalem Sonda, the groom. And uh, I'm, I just want you to tell us uh, about this journey. When did the concept group actually begin? Um, in the in the year 2004. 2004. Yes. That's, that's how many years back? 18. 18 years back. 18 okay. years. Great. That's when we began to sing as pilgrimage concept. All right. Um, there was a time at this church when we're still worshiping uh, by the, at the resource, resource center. center. We had a strong youth choir and didn't have a church choir. Mm -hmm. uh, we had one, but then it had died out. Yeah. So... By then, I should believe Brother Covenant was the music director, if I'm not mistaken. So okay. he decided that those who were in the youth choir and some of the people who were in some smaller groups could come together yeah. and sing. From there, that's when we decided as a choir to say, for us to perfect our voices, the male part of the choir can form a group called the Pilgrimage are you, Concept. Are you able to get him? Oh, okay. All right. You're excited about the pictures. Okay. Yeah, so you can go on. Yeah, we, we, we caught the male part, the pilgrimage concept. Yes. And the female part, the pilgrimage focus. Okay. The purpose was that when we come to choir, mm -hmm. we should just sing. The perfecting of voices yeah. should happen at pilgrimage concept. Exactly. Um, by then, the young man in glasses here, Keegan, was one of us as concept. Keegan? Where is Keegan? The young man. Oh, okay. All right, I've seen him. Yeah. Yes. We, he was singing first tenor in concept with us. Okay. We had a group with him, me, him, and another guy. We had a quartet. So we said, okay. And they had a quartet. There was Convenant, Stechani, Chihuahua, and Brighton. So we okay. said, okay, let's sing together and make what is now called the pilgrimage concept. concept. That's how the journey began. Wow, that, that's very interesting. Uh, just to stay straight away a bit. Uh, when I look at that picture, when was it taken? Um, uh, this is when Brian Siagavea had just joined. <laughs> yes. We had gone to Kaunda Square Church okay. to sing. Which year is that? Ah, dude. Is it? I'm looking at the shirts. I think 2011. <laughs> I think this, I by I the, like by the way, the year. by the way, <laughs> this is a legend shirt. I think some of the guys still have this shirt. Yeah, okay. so this must have been in 2011, right. and the best man was Brian Shiba 
He used to sing in Tokoza. Okay. Yes. He was the one singing best in, by that time. All right. Okay, let me not, uh, let's forget about the sheds for now. Uh, yeah, so you've told us how the group started. Who was your leader at the time? Um, for most of the years, in terms of directorship, yes. Brighton has been our director and Covenant. Exactly. Yes. Um, at a point when Covenant had gone to work outside town, mm -hmm. Brighton remained. He's one of the, he's one that has been, I think, the director from the time the group started up to this year. Okay. Um, he's been serving with several other people. Yeah. In fact, if you look at the music that we sing, yeah. um, that is uh, the kind of music that Brighton really loved. Okay. And then we got to decide to say, okay, mm -hmm. to, uh, to have a certain identity, this is the music that this we will... This is the type of music, this is the type of music that we'll venture into and we'll be just singing that and that's what we've been singing. Even the local songs, if you listen to them, yes. normally when someone brings a local song, we we'll say, okay, that doesn't really sound like concept. Yeah. So we'll start tweaking it and twisting it Until so that it, it fits in like into concept. this kind of music that we sing. Okay, yes. that's uh, interesting. Do we have any more shirts? Okay, these are new shirts. Eh? <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, talking about uh, Brighton specifically, what impacts do you think he left on the group, which you are going to carry forward? Before I say that, um, the first thing that comes to mind when you mention Brighton yes. is that people, who, when people meet you, they tell you, how do you rehearse with Brighton? Mm. That's the first question they ask you. Yes. But then when you ask these gentlemen, you will realize that actually the people who were making noise are these gentlemen who are seated <laughs> The here. silent burners. Yes, the ones that people call <laughs> quiet. He would be there and he would be telling you, telling some of the big people here, hey, think as we are singing. Okay, we won't mention them. No, Just, we won't mention yes. them. He, would, he, he was one of those people who, even when you start a discussion in the middle of your singing, which is something that we, if we are rehearsing for an hour, 30 minutes might be talking and then the 30 minutes singing. Yes. But he would be the one who would be telling you, say, ah, gentlemen, let's get back to singing. He really loved singing. Then the other thing is that he was one of those people who wanted perfection. Great, great. Perfection was something that he wanted from the group. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're given a shoddy work, you are in trouble and you know how Brighton used to speak. Exactly, you yeah. will receive enough words that <laughs> everyone will laugh at you in that particular time. Okay, so how did you grow the numbers? Because uh, I think when you started, you were about four or five? Four? Um, <coughs> I think we were almost about six or seven. Yeah, about six or seven. All right. So how did you grow the numbers? Um, in the beginning, like I said, we said that the pilgrimage concept was the male part of the choir. So anyone that came into the choir was given the privilege to belong to the pilgrimage concept no, okay. until some later years when it was decided that, okay, we didn't really need that anymore. Yeah. Then P concept had now members who were not even part of the choir. But by then, numbers were growing because someone would join the choir mm -hmm. and the training ground is pilgrimage concept. All right. Okay, so right now there are 10 of you. There's 10 of you. Yeah, there are 10. One, two, three, four. Yes, 10. 10. Yes. Okay, um, when I look at the picture right now, um, I'm short of words because it's a very beautiful picture, very modern. Even the suits actually have <laughs> migrated. <laughs> you, you should have seen the suits that we used to wear at Mulusa. <laughs> at, at Mulusa, we had some stripes. Uh, Striped suits. Yeah, and the shoulders were somewhere there. With shoulder yes. pads. When we used to <laughs> sing, there's no disappointment in heaven. <laughs> okay, no, I think the journey has been very good. Do you want to tell us some, anything more? Well, the, the, the one thing that uh, we pride in as a group is that um, our singing is part of why we exist, but I think the major part has been we have had beautiful experiences in the many homes that are here. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that we carry with us. Yes. Um, so many times people say, my experience when they came to our home mm -hmm. 
But for us, we have our own testimonies of the things that we have experienced in your homes. Yes. When we come and we see how God is working, when we are praying for someone mm -hmm. and God is answering those prayers, yeah. it has made us even a better team. Because our singing is because now we are friends. The, there was a time that uh, you'll find Brighton is waiting for Covenant around 05. We are going to sing somewhere else. There was a time when you would travel the whole entire group to go and buy uh, goat meat from Chongwe. So we play together. Mm -hmm. That is what concept is. The time yes. that we spend away from singing, those moments are what define concepts. Mm -hmm. The family that we have built with each other. Okay. Um, I think, uh, as you can see, the church is really following closely because of the significance of this day. We are launching an album. Yes, please. Um, is this our first album launch? This is our first album launch, but not the first recording. Mm -hmm. We had recorded um, the No Disappointment in Heaven, but then we, we didn't like the quality of work that was done. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get to sell that CD. But this is the first one that we are launching and selling. And you are assuring us of quality. Ah, quality music. Beautiful music. Beautiful. Okay. Um, when he's going for work, the bus that he uses, the driver plays the songs from morning until evening. Amen. It's the kind of music that you, when you want to relax, you want to have yeah. some thoughts, mm -hmm. you can put in the background and you will enjoy your journey. Wow. We say amen to that. Um, at this point, I think um, it's important that we know the names of the team members in uh, concept? Okay. Um, I'll begin with Dude, Bran, Siagawea. I, I have... Maybe oh, you, you can, can come. Stand. Okay. You can come. Cool. <laughs> like you have a problem <laughs> with the mic. Um, let me start with the first trainers. Let's start with Keno. Keno, come here. Keno. <laughs> Okay. At least uh, here you can say, come here. Yes, yes. To the kennel. No, no, anywhere else, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm his elder brother. Okay, he has to respect elder brothers. So, uh, Keno, Keno, just a tip of your first thing. Keno Stechani, Mwangala Stechani. Amen. I think the mic. With this one. Hallelujah to me, me, Hallelujah to me, me, Hallelujah to me, me, Yes. What we say? Amen. Ken, oh, I'm getting old now. Ken, 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 Ken has a habit of, uh, you know, in, in Tonga we say, Gutagata. You know? Over the years, over the years, over the years, I've come to notice that he would take out for a year, but music will bring him back to home. Back home. So we, it's good to have you. You're, yes, yes. <laughs> Brian, come through. Um, when when Keno would take the, the concept would have problem. Okay? And then Brian came. You know, uh, one of my favorite voices. Uh, Brian can sing, but Brian's problem is the inconsistency. <laughs> uh huh. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, today, today, I have to be honest, and, and today we are in the, in the Church of God. I have, I have talked to him personally because, you know, uh, you know, First Tena is a nice voice. It's a nice voice. Uh, Brian came through, joined the group, and so when uh, uh, Keno would uh, do his number on us, you know, and <laughs> Brian would come through. You see, so we, as, we've been blessed. As a church, we've been blessed Amen. to have these people, to have these people uh, uh, singing consistently, you know, because you can imagine what would have happened when some of these voices, some of these key voices would be missing. Um, Brian, do your number.
number. Just take a sample, a whatever nine. of your first ten. Your first ten. I'm not a soloist. No, just one, one baby. <laughs> okay, sing with me. On Sankatwa la ne kaya Tuna muche teke la Ne yuki shapa Ti Afilile Pa Alvary What do you say? Amen. You know, this group has been blessed with, uh, with voices. Yeah. You can go and sit. Um, second tenors, okay? Let me start with uh, Deconcello. Now, Deconcello is a very interesting character. Come, come. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Elder. Elder. Fellow elder. Fellow elder. Uh -huh. um, he's a very interesting character. He's also got a short temper. Yes, very short temper. So, uh, he did, a, he did a number on concept, eh? Pa! And formed what? Another group. Okay? Uh, but you see, what is interesting about him is that he can sing all the voices. Hello? Maybe that's the reason why he has a short temper. He's close to... Uh, uh, let's not talk about him. No, um, he can sing all, all the voices. Okay? So this is uh, what we're going to do. He's going to do the, the parts. He's, he'll start with first tenor, uh, but he's normally settled with second tenor. That's why I called him on the second tenor beat. Then he'll do second tenor, then he'll do baritone, then he'll do bass. No talking, eh? By the way, no talking. How shall we stand in that great day? Oh, how shall we stand that moment of safety when all of this those books reveal and out of that Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, the next one is uh, Elder, Elder Wiggins. Elder Wiggins. Uh, I'm not going to say much, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I was asking him. You've already said enough. Yeah, I was asking him why he is not, he has become like Brian. <laughs> uh, that spirit is not good. I think let's, uh, let, let's, uh, how many of us agree that the spirit of not being consistent is not good? Yes, yes, yes. Now you've heard, you've heard that. I can't say that on WhatsApp and I can't call you, but now I had to, 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 to say it here. Um, we, we love your singing. You provide the stability to the group. He also preaches for the group. I think uh, after Dr. Kombwa, uh, decided to to usurp my privileges. <laughs> the next one to push me to the wire was uh, Elder Mpang. So now they don't need a preacher. They have a preacher in their group. He sings second tenor. Now, sample. I'm not a soloist also. Uh, uh, since Kanye has already set the tone, who we'll sing the same song? Hallelujah to Mwimbile Yesu To Mwimbile Yesu To Mwimbile This one, I don't have any problems with him. He is a good young man. He's, he's, but I'm the most easily bullied. Yeah. <laughs> Am I dealing right? Who you? He's a bully. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Uh, you think we, you think I'm very far away from you guys? I'm very close, very very close. I see, and I hear. Okay. Uh, kindly sample your voice. Did you say uh, that he's uh, bullied or yeah. he bullies? No, 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 bullied. <laughs> he's the one who bullies. No, no, who bullied? Who he's being bullied. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he bullies. <laughs> he bullies. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, before, before I move to the baritones, before I move to the baritones, there's a voice here that is missing. Uh, Brighton Sinkala. Uh, Brighton was a big guy. Some of you don't know that, but Brighton was a big, big guy. Um, uh, those of us who have been in this church know that him and I would spark, you know? Yeah, that would spark because no nonsense, no nonsense, nonsense. That, that's how it was. That's how it was. But let me tell you something about Brighton. Um, settling in Chinama, one day I received a phone call. I'm at the workplace, I receive a phone call. And then he tells me, you know what he tells me? Uh -huh. Where are you? Then I'm like, I'm at the office. Where is your office? Yeah. Then I tell him. Then the next thing is, he comes, all right? This is somewhere around lunchtime. He comes, he says, you know what? I'm, I'm taking you to lunch. I'm thinking to myself, this guy, is, is he serious? <laughs> then, then he took me. He took me to some place. Uh, you know, those of us who know me, I, I rarely eat from these places. <laughs> But I, that I, day you I, ate. I've got, I've got problem with food. I, I, food is a problem. Uh, I'm picky, picky, picky. But then he takes me to this place. The, that, that's the time when they were introducing Matebeto okay. in Osaka. So he takes me to this place. Uh, they were with Pragas. Those of us who know Pragas. Pragas. I have Pragas. Okay. So he was with Pragas. Pragas was the one driving. So they take me to this place behind arcades. Okay? Okay. Then they say, order whatever you want. I'll pay. You know, uh, I know that I'm not the only person that uh, uh, Brighton touched yeah. in terms of his goodwill. The, 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 the guy was big. Oh, yeah. Now, we, we, we know for sure that we are going to miss him as concept. Yeah, we, as, as a church, we're going to miss him. Uh, but such is life. That's the second tenor that is missing here. Now, let's move to Brighton. Uh, I'll start with Chihuahua. Chihuahua, come, come, come. Chihuahua, when they were singing, he used to sing a lot of uh, ch Chilea. <laughs> no. get, get, get your phone. Get, get your mic. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, uh, you, you, you know I'm bad. I'm like, I'm bad. When it comes to Chilea, I'm bad. But if, you're so bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> if, if you beat me, and, or if I can tell that you're singing Chilea, then you must be something. <laughs> but then, I'll tell you something about this gentleman. He is the most flexible in this group. Amen. Okay. Um, him and I can, can do Chimbuya, or is it uh, uh, Chimlamu? He's married to my sister. I'm married to his sister. So, uh, I can do anything with him, and he'll just laugh. Ew, does. Ew, does. That's, 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 he has a sweet personality. That's one thing for sure. He has a sweet personality. Now, don't sing Chile, eh? Just sample it. Right?
Bernard, 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 Adam Keller sings uh, uh, baritone. Uh, him and I go a long way. <laughs> we went to the same university. So I'll be soft on him. <laughs> I'll be soft on him. Uh, sample your voice. My Lord, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, did my deliver Daniel, why, but why not delivering man? Amen. 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 Okay, now, Muzo, 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 organize your bonds and come in front. <laughs> Congratulations. They know that. Congratulations. The groom. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Muzo, at, at the black man, eh? Or is it the white man? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, consistently, consistently, he's been with uh, concert. Yeah. Uh, he has this short temper also. <laughs> like, like this, okay? But uh, you can talk to him. Yes, you, you can talk to him. Uh, I don't have any issues with his temper because I know that I can talk to him. <laughs> Even uh, he's been the longest and, and, and uh, consistent baritone concept has had. Um, over the years, there was a time when there were, I think at the time we came in, there were consistently four of them, uh, Muzo, uh, uh, Keno, uh, Covenant, and Brighton, consistently. Then over the years, the group has expanded. And you know with the expansion, you know, you're, you're, you're okay, by the other side, he also sings bad. Yes, there are times when Covenant would also limp, limp away or walk away, he would uh, <laughs> deputize. Uh, but his uh, comfortable uh, place is baritone. Please sample your voice. Wali chinda mawe muntu Ukuchila pewe lia umo mutengo Wali chitilwe no mulu Umolo pano wumi fia poselwe paliwe. Amen. Amen. One of my favorite concept songs, that one. Yeah. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll start with Covenant because he's the oldest. Then uh, the, the, the bad man. Uh, uh, Covenant sings bass. <laughs> Leakage. No, no, he told me I shouldn't talk too much. Now, I wasn't going to talk. I wasn't going to talk. Now, I'll, I'll have to talk. Now, if there's a noisemaker. If there's a noisemaker in concept. It is it, Covenant. <laughs> and Covenant can be talking even throughout a sermon. <laughs> uh, but you know, um, um, uh, when, we were, when we were a small church, eh? and then he would go down, I would see the women. <laughs> and, uh, and then I would look at my wife, Mom, sweetie, no, 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 no. <laughs> It's, it's just a voice. <laughs> Women love the, the voice. The, 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 the bars they love, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it, it's a blessing. Now, uh, go deep. Go deep. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> the 
as a golden hope in the heaven I know. We thank God for that voice. We thank God Amen. for that voice. Um, brother, brother man, brother Samboko. Uh, in between, uh, the, the, the concept has had buses uh, uh, after Covenant. There was Brian, Brian um, Chishiba. Uh, there was Chiwe uh, Shumbwa, okay? And then, consistently, okay? Consistently, the brother here came in and stepped in, okay? Uh, okay, to be fair, to be fair, uh, Covenant is buzz, is on another level, yes? To be fair, but when the man stepped in, we said, okay, now Covenant can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we said Covenant can what? Can oh. go. And we even allowed him to go to faith ele element. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ah, I never intervened. No one allowed to intervene. <laughs> and so, uh, bro, sample. Thy mercy is how tender, how fame to This one, this one, I saw a post. I need to, to, to distance myself. I saw a post. <laughs> Sister Hazel says, bro, that bus rocked me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words right now. <laughs> okay, that's the concept for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do we say to the concept? Amen. Amen. Yes. So, wow, um, being a novice in music, I'm actually um, shocked right now to see the different voices that you guys sing. And uh, my twinny here can actually sing all the voices. We would like him to... <laughs> Lucifer, right? Before he became the enemy. <laughs> so, amen to that. Okay, so we'll go into the next segment. Uh, actually, it's the concept. Uh, okay, I'm being corrected. Uh, I, I really wanted the concept to sing. But anyway, so we have our very own church choir. Can you please come up front? Can you show some energy, please? Okay, so we'll have um, two songs. Two songs from the choir. And after the choir, uh, is Brother Msonda here? Yes, you can give us one song.
and Savior has come in his mighty power and spoken peace to my soul. And all of my life from that very hour, I've yielded to his control. I've yielded to his control. Wonderful, it is wonderful, it is marvelous and wonderful. What Jesus has done for the soul of man, the heart has never been told.
flesh shall see it together.
it's uh, my singular uh, privilege this afternoon to call upon uh, the guest of honor, uh, Brigadier General Golden Luamia. Please come and uh, address us. Good afternoon, sons and daughters of the living God. It's indeed with a rare privilege and honor to stand in front of beautiful and handsome children of God. It's really nice to be here. I think it's not time wasted. And I would assure you that actually I'm happy to be here. And I wish that if possible, of, which of course it's possible, like the way we are all gathered in here, that when Christ comes, we meet on the other side of the river or in the New Jerusalem, where most of us who can sing will not only be spectators, but to actually participate in singing. Um, allow me also to say that uh, when I just walked in, I was happy actually not just from the singing, because I've seen a lot of faces. So I would have met so many years ago. There is Elder Tsenga here. There is Wiggins or oh, Elder, Elder Mpango. I've never called him an elder. He has never called me an elder. So it's Mdara, Mdara, Wiggins, God, just like that. Then I've seen, I, I think I saw also Mrs. Mpango somewhere. There is also my grandson. Ken is is my grandson, actually. He is my grandson. Sure. Uh, Brother, allow me this time uh, to start by conveying my warm season greetings to you all, from the International Service Commander, Lieutenant General Marit Sorochi, who would have loved to be here, but due to pressing national commitments, he dedicated me to come and grace this important function. I am a Brigadier General, Gordon Ruamia, Chief of Finance, as, introduced earlier, as I've been introduced earlier on. I'm also an elder at Kamala SDA Church. But permit me also to render the commanders unreserved apology and convey his goodwill to all of you present here. At this moment, uh, having been assigned to fill his big shoes, I shall endeavor to stick to his speech. I, no, I will not divert. Let me also uh, congratulate the pilgrimage uh, concept for this milestone achievement. I am greatly humbled and grateful to the organizers of this colorful occasion for finding it befitting to invite me to grace the, un, uh, the unwavering, the unveiling, sorry, of the first album for the pilgrimage concept of Chinama SDA musical singers. The launch of this album today is a milestone achievement in that it will not only add to the music industry to this country, but you help to spread the word of God to all believers and non-believers. May I mention from the outset that music is cardinal to the spiritual development of a soul, as it helps in uplifting one's spiritual well-being. It's also the greatest weapon that can convey evangelistic messages of the church to the masses, thereby stimulating spiritual expression and response to God's calling. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am also extremely excited to see a good number of youths amongst ourselves coming to be a part of this function. 
And it gives me comfort that we are not losing this future generation to secular music. As a church, we need to fervently pray and work together to ensure we keep young ones within the fold and assist in retaining them to the cause of heaven, where they are greatly needed to contribute to sharing of light and weeding of more souls. To you all, our dear musicians, I wish to remind you that as you labor in his vineyard, remember to uphold God's morals and Christian values so as to serve as a light in our communities. I wish to also appeal to all of you who have turned up to continue supporting the efforts of our singers by purchasing the albums, praying for them, and financially supporting their various efforts for good of the kingdom. With that said, let me now take this singular honor and privilege to declare this album officially launched. May the Almighty God be with you all as you proceed with your evangelistic activities. Thank you. But just allow me, before I leave the stage, I know the, 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 the part might be coming earlier on, to just present a token of appreciation on behalf of the Zambia National Service Commander. He says, I bring a certain amount of money. He's happy for being recognized amongst many and to be invited for this wonderful occasion. There is the, an amount here which I've been delegated to hand over a 5,000 quarter. talk about cells. Um, you know, Chinama is a very unique church, extremely unique. Um, when you hear of a launch, an album launch, you'll probably be thinking the money goes to the group. Okay? Yeah. Sister yeah. Hazel. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, That's no, no. I had no. to ask them. No, no, no. We are, um, we are a very unique church. So what we do is that whatever we are going to collect, okay? Uh, uh, by the way, you, you know these things, we shouldn't be talking. We don't talk, we, 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 we act. act. Mm -hmm. So I should be the first one. Uh, so, uh, Mukela, please bring a flash. Uh, where is the treasurer? <laughs> where is the treasurer? Is the treasurer? We need the treasurer here. Okay? All right. So, uh, the flash. We, we shouldn't be talking. We should act. All right? So, now, what happens with Chanama is that uh, the proceeds. Hello? Are you with me? The proceeds, whatever we're going to collect from the sales of the album, will be receipted for the church. Okay? It will be taken in as a church income. Okay, and when it takes, when we take it in as a church income, it can be used for evangelism purposes. Are we together? Yes. So uh, those of us watching online, you should buy yourself a CD, which is a hundred quarter. But I will advise you to buy 
uh, flash is 150 because the music in the flash is properly arranged. And now you know we have these facilities that you can plug in your flash, play your music anywhere you are. You can play it on your laptop, you can play it in the car, you know, and these cars these days, they don't have, I don't even know, I don't know what got into concept. <laughs> yes. Yes, so he called me and he was saying, uh, we'll be selling the flash as well as the, the CD. And the question I asked him was, where am I supposed to use or play the CD? So he said, you know, we are um, confident that you have a laptop which can play the CD. So I excused him on that part. But I think going forward, we look forward to more flash disks. Okay, I don't know what laptop people use. <laughs> Mine doesn't have a provision. <laughs> For a CD? No, 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 no. In, 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 uh, in, uh, in 2007, when they visited, that's when I was using a CD. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes, so this, the flash disks are 150 kwacha. 150 right? kwacha. Only. Yes, and the CD is 100 kwacha. Only. Now, I'll repeat. The money doesn't go to concert. You know, the money comes to Chinama Seven Day Adventist. Then Chinama is going to do uh, evangelistic activities. You would, have, you, sh you would have participated in those evangelistic activities when you purchased that flash or that CD. Yes, um, maybe let's do it this way. Do we have uh, people who go to work in the morning? Like tomorrow they will be going to work. Do we have such people in here? Can we, can we stand up? Those that work? You are in holy ground, so you can't risk. <laughs> you can't risk to lie. How many of us are going to work in the morning tomorrow, Monday morning? Okay, I've seen the ones that have stood. The rest of us, we are not working. Hello? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the type of work. The, 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 I think the, the message is clear. Who will wake up tomorrow morning to go to work? Tokoza, you don't work. You don't. Yeah, so you, you stand up still. <laughs> okay, so we've seen the ones that work, uh, Eldangandu. What do you think? How do we approach it? Chinama, again, is a very unique church. We, 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 we believe in, uh, in free conscious. Uh, we also believe that you don't have to be forced to do anything. This is why these brethren here can come here and sing. If you don't buy, it's not their loss. It's your loss. It's our loss. Your loss. So... Uh, those of us that are standing, uh, can we get the flashes? The, where is the person who is selling the flash disks? Is that so, the entrance there? The entrance. The okay, entrance. so maybe we'll ask him. No, as they go out, as they go out. Okay, as they go out. As I thought they they, out. he could come this side. Anyway, so as you go out, please use that um, outlet and get a flash. If you don't have the cash right now, you can pay tomorrow. Or you can pay by Airtel money. Or oh, F and B. Uh, E-wallet. E -wallet, pay to <laughs> okay, sell, so, all those things. Yeah, so we've... Um, I'm sure when you're in the house of God, it's very difficult to lie. <laughs> so once the program is done, we use that outlet and we get a flash. Okay, but then that's, that doesn't mean that those who don't work like me will not buy the Eritary flash. Report, huh? <laughs> so those of us who don't work, can we stand up? You, sorry, you can sit. Thank you. Those of us who don't work, I'm already standing up. Who else? Those 
Those of us who don't work. When you, you're coming to do the vote of thanks. Because you ca- so when, when you we work. said those who work, you didn't stand up. Those who don't work, you are still sitting. So which one is which? <laughs> okay, so for those of us who don't work, we are going to buy what? A disc. <laughs> That's where we belong, my friend. So we are going to buy a disc. If you can, you can pay a 50 kwacha today and a 50 kwacha next Sabbath or next Friday. You can send the money. So again, we use the same outlet. Any other group? I think we are done, right? We are done. Okay, so please, as we go out, I don't know where Tokoza will fall. Since you are on leave, yeah. where do you fall? <laughs> so we expect that you also support, support us. Faith Element, I'm sure they will support us. Brother Msonda, where is he? He's conveniently walked out. Yes, but I know he will support us. So, Elder Ngandi, you can pick it up from there. So, um, we are concluding. We are almost concluding. We've tried to squeeze the program so that we could, be, we could end at before 18 hours. We've, we've tried. We started uh, almost an hour late. So now, what we are going to do, um, we are going to ask concept, okay? And uh, I wish I was wearing my T-shirt so that I could sing that. <laughs> But you know, I'll look. Like, I'll look. I'll make them look like little children in my suit. So um, we're going to ask them to come and do two songs. Two songs. Um, the one is, uh, yeah. Bend me. Bend me will be the last one. The, the last other one, one is good news. Good news. So they are going to do good news and bend me. And once they've done that, we are then going to ask Elder Mukela to uh, give us a word of thanks. And after he's done a word of thanks, uh, we'll ask Elder Chisenga to do the closing remarks. And then we will call it a day. But before we go, I'm sure I'll ask, after they've done, we'll ask your favorite, just two songs. Because I know we love you, isn't it? Good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming, and I don't wanna leave me behind. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming, and I don't wanna leave me behind. There's a long white robe in the heaven, I know. There's a long white robe in the heaven. I And I don't wanna leave me behind. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. And I don't wanna leave me behind. There's a golden crown in the heaven, I know. There's a golden crown in the heaven, I know. There's a golden crown in the heaven, I know. And I don't wanna leave me behind. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. And I don't wanna leave me behind. There's a starry crown in the heaven. Oh, there's a starry crown in the heaven. I know there's a starry crown in the heaven. I know. And I don't wanna leave me behind. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. Sweet news, sweet news, chariots are coming. Good news, good news, chariots are coming. And I don't wanna leave me behind. There's a golden heart.
hoping to heaven, I know. There's a golden harp in the heaven, I know. There's a golden harp in the heaven, I know. And I know I'm going to leave me behind. Good news. Good news, chariots are coming. Sweet news. Sweet news, chariots are coming. So glad. So glad, chariots are coming. And I know I'm going to leave me afternoon church if uh, if I was asked to give uh, a speech in a political arena I would
But I'll begin by giving the salutations by uh, maybe beginning with the guest of honor. But I do realize that we are in church, Elder Limwan. And I'd like to thank you, Elder, for having graced our occasion as a pilgrimage concept on our launch. Please may you convey our gratitude to General Maliti Solochi for for honoring us with uh, your presence. We, uh, we really appreciate your coming. would like also to pass a vote of thanks to uh, the guest groups that have come through. Tokoza, we thank you so much for coming to grace our occasion. A uh, touch of faith, thank you very much for through to grace this occasion. We are really blessed by your presence. I would like also to thank, I cannot see Evangelist Samuel Musonda, but would like to thank him in absentia also for having graced our occasion. would like also to thank uh, the Pilgrimage Church Choir. It was a short notice that we gave them, but we thank you, Pilgrimage Church Choir, for also coming through to grace this occasion. And uh, we would like also to thank everyone who has come to support our launch. May the Lord bless you abundantly for having come to support us. And even for supporting us in buying uh, the CD and the flash, it will go a long way in evangelizing uh, the word of the Lord. There's nothing much I need to say, but at this time I'd like to call upon uh, Elder Chisenga to come and give uh, the closing remarks. Thank you so much. people that you deal with is Elder Sen. So even when we are dealing with him, you need to be humble yourself. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, now, before he comes, okay, I think so that when he speaks, we are done. Okay? This is how we're going to do it. So the band, I'm told you, uh, you got a song. Okay, so the band, uh, kindly organize your, okay, I, if it was Muson, I was going to say bonds. But can you organize yourselves and come in front so that you can give us that song? And uh, after they've given us a song, now let's go this way. We're looking at time. So I'm going to ask uh, your favorites from Tokoza and from uh, Touch of Faith. One each, just one each, all right? So after the band has sung, then Tokoza and Touch of Faith will sing those favorites, and then Elder Senga will come and give the closing remarks. So the bands, you organize yourselves, uh, favorites. Okay, CC, Mary. Sorry? Step into the water, it goes. One, and uh -huh. Tokoza. From Tokoza. Okay. All right. We'll ask them to sing a favorite. Your favorite. Okay. No, 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 no. They'll sing their favorite. No one raised up their hand. So in that order. So the band, Tokoza, Touch of Faith. All right. Then Elder sang. Um, General, we'll keep you uh, until he makes uh, this. Yeah.
Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon, church. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish um, we could beam a video there where we sang this song when Concept came to Charleston. Is it there? Wow. Um, so we sang this song. It's a song that we like singing as Charleston Church. And we don't sing it in the traditional way you know it. So we sang it very different. A bluegrass type of... Uh, so don't get surprised and say, no, 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 no. It's just the way. I think you enjoy it. Yeah. So it's, uh, the, the, the song is what can wash away my sins. Nothing but the blood of... And please, just, let us just join. I think we've been, we've been too quiet except say amen. So let us just join in and just glorify the Lord. And whatever happens after this, then it happens. Amen. Yeah. So, so, so let's, have, let's have as much as we can there. We want to feel it. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me pure with Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the Bye. 
problem. We thank you for that music. We are, we are, we, we, we are blessed. Talk of it.
Good evening, beloved of God. How many of us have been blessed? Thank you so much. I have equally been very blessed. Um, I wouldn't have spent this afternoon better than the way that I have actually spent it. Um, the temptation is high to go into the thanks. But allow me to simply compliment it this way because I wouldn't do it any better than um, Elder Mukela has actually done it. I was sitting down and um, thinking to myself that I thought I knew my brother. He has been close to me for a very long period of time. Uh, I thought I knew my sister but I guess I was beginning to doubt. I, I am beginning to doubt, and I think I have learned an interesting part of them today. And also allow me to say this in relationship to concept. Um, a couple of months ago, as I was dropping from a vehicle, a boy said to me, a boy that I did not know, the 
boy said to me, Uncle, uh, you drew my attention. I really didn't know what he wanted to say. And so he said to me, your car is very beautiful. So I said, well, thank you. I will tell the owner uh, what you have actually said. Now, um, I am aware of the fact that um, when we were doing some search for vehicles, we have a we have a habit of keying in chassis numbers to just understand in case there is any information with regards to this vehicle. And during that particular period, when we had keyed in the chassis number, the car looked so ordinary very different from the way it was looking at that particular time. And then the second thing that also captured our attention is that when we took it for the first service, the organization asked this question, did this car flip at any point in time? Because probably the condition in which they found the air filter mixing with the oil seemed to have given them a conviction that this car had at some point in time actually flipped. Probably it explained the difference between the way it was looking when you looked at it at, on the internet and the way it is actually looking now. The point is there are times when sometimes God leads us into places where we feel we are broken and so lost. But what we have experienced today is also a clear testimony that when we cooperate with God out of those situations of loss, with his cooperation, we are able to come out stronger. So our encouragement to concept is keep on going on. I know we are from a period where we have felt loss, felt pain, and even more for concept. But keep on holding to God. That which we might feel has been a total loss and a great pain. God is able to make us come out of that particular situation stronger. Ultimately, beloved, when all will have been said and done, the greatest question to every one of us that will have attended this particular session is, how is our relationship with God? And I pray, like myself, in an environment like this one, that your strength has been you know, your relationship with God has been made stronger and more enhanced. And on behalf of Concept and on behalf of China, my Seventh-day Adventist, we are presenting this to, um, allow me to say, Elder Wenya, um, um, to just remember that at one point in time, we had this beautiful fellowship and this beautiful family together. And the other one is to Elder Solochi. Please may this constantly be a reminder in your home and in your lives that at some point in time, God blessed us with such a great privilege to spend some time in his presence. May God richly bless each one of us. Amen. we stand for prayer. Eternal loving Father.
Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth and all that in them is, we want to register our gratitude unto you this evening for the way you have led us in this particular launch of the ministry of your word in music through the group that you raised your own self, a group that stands even today to proclaim the salvation of humanity even as it has been delivered through Jesus to this world. We want to thank you for the pilgrimage concept. We want to thank you for China Seventh day Adventist Church. We want to thank you for all your children that came this day to come and grace this particular occasion of the launch of your word even through the ministry of the concept in music. We surrender ourselves totally unto you and simply register our thanksgiving unto you that having been present and witnessed the launch of this particular uh, album, uh, CD, and flash disc, we ask that may it not end here. May we not only celebrate in the music we are going to listen to, but that that music is going to revive us, lift us up, and bring us even before the throne of mercy and recognize and realize we have a God in heaven who is interested in us and has got great and uh, plans that we may not even think of at all. And so be with us now even as we come to the end of our program. As we separate one from another, abide with us and continue to lead us all the way everlasting. Until then, our prayer is keep us from falling until we see you come in the clouds of heaven and we receive you as our God and our Father, our Savior, to live eternally with you the glorious kingdom to come. Your will be done in our lives all the days of our lives. It's our prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen.
Jesús.